Hey, what's up everyone? Heyday Guides here, and today I'm happy to bring you the fifth part of the Quest for the Golden Trout in all of the Fish Let's Play series. But before we get into the fishing, AppNana has again sponsored me with another $10 iTunes gift card, which I'll be using to speed things up so that we can catch a lot more fish. For those of you that don't know what AppNana is, once again, it's a great way to get some free diamonds, so if you haven't already, check them out. I'll leave a link at the end of the video as well as one in the video description, and you can also click on their icon in the bottom right of this video at any time to check them out. I'm gonna go ahead and start off this Let's Play by using some of those diamonds to speed up making some purple lures here. I'm also gonna go ahead and speed the video up here since the first part of this Let's Play started off kind of slow on catching new fish. For those of you that have been watching the series, you may remember that I finished off catching all the fish that I can with the green lure and also the blue lure in the last video. So now we only have new fish that can be caught with the purple lure or the gold lure. Right now there are four fish that I can catch with this purple lure, two of which are medium sized circles and the other two are small circles. As I'm catching some fish here with the purple lure, I'm trying to go after some of the fish that are putting up more of a fight, and also definitely going after um, the fish that have a small circle size. It seems like a lot of the fish that you can catch with the purple lure do put up a lot of fight, so it definitely makes it a little more challenging. Also, it seems like you definitely get a lot more of the rarer fish since we started off this one with catch a couple rainbow sunfish and a longer sunfish, I believe. And as you'll see, we catch quite a few of the harder to catch fish from earlier videos. As we catch a sauger here, which I believe was a pretty tricky one to catch in a earlier video. I went ahead and decided to speed things up and get area 6 back here, since one of the fish, which is the bitterling, can only be caught in area 6. I was hoping that I had one on the line here, but as we reel this fish in, you can see it's a longer sunfish, which is another fish that was kind of hard for us to catch in an earlier video. So unfortunately, it looks like we're still looking for our first new fish here. As I throw in another purple lure here, it looks like we got a fish on the line with a medium sized circle that isn't putting up too much fight but starts to as we come get close to catching it here and almost catch it there but keeps trying to just get away and after a few tries of almost catching it finally reel it in and we got our first new fish of the video which is an arctic char you may notice that it doesn't say new next to this fish when we catch it this is because this was one of the fish that I caught when the fishing first came out and I made a video showing all about fishing. So it is already caught in my scrapbook, but this is the first time that we have caught it in this Quest for the Golden Trout series. With the video sped back up here, I'm still going after the remaining three fish that I can catch with the purple lure now. Unfortunately, as you can probably see from this video, it's pretty hard to catch these last three fish since Two of them uh, have a small circle and definitely put up quite a bit of fight. You also notice that I'm starting to be a little more picky about which fish I reel in and which ones I just let off the line. Although I probably should be a little more picky, but since I'm trying to keep these videos short and catch new fish, I'm going with the hopes that I do have a new one instead of using more logic and seeing that I have already caught the fish just judging by how it's fighting and circle size and other information you can see. While I got some time here, I just wanted to mention again that I will be doing another free diamond giveaway uh, as soon as we reach 4,000 subscribers, which is very close here, so be on the lookout for that video. Um, probably have an entry time of two weeks, so it won't be as long as the first one, and be able to get some free diamonds out to a couple more subscribers or somebody else that enters. Only going to keep the entry time open for a couple weeks, so hopefully one of you subscribers that watch all my videos can get some free diamonds. Also, it'll be open to anyone in the world, so no matter where you live, if I pick you as one of the winners, I will definitely do my best to get you an iTunes gift card or some other form of prize so that you can get some free diamonds. 
Also, in addition to another giveaway video, I'm happy to announce that I will be uploading at least one new video a week from now on, and I'll definitely be trying to catch up on some of those requests for videos that you guys all had. Also, if you have any other requests for videos you'd like to see, just go ahead and comment down below, and I'll be sure to put it on my list of videos to make for you guys. I know there's been a lot of requests for how to decorate your farm, um, how to use Tom or how to get vouchers and how to make money. So I'll be sure to upload some of those videos very soon. Also, I'll be uploading a video going over the candy machine as well as the three new machines unlocked after the candy machine that were just released in the last update. I'll also be uploading the last few videos in this Quest for the Golden Trout series, hopefully within the next two weeks here. So be on the lookout for that for all of those that have been following along in this series. I haven't decided what my next series will be yet, whether it will be another Let's Play or not. Um, so let me know what you guys think. If there's a Let's Play sort of series you'd like to see, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below too, and I'll consider making it. Also, as I always say, it'd be great to hear from you guys, um, to hear what you guys think about this Let's Play series, whether you liked it or not. So I can, you know, decide if I'm going to do another Let's Play to replace this one. But back to fishing now. Uh, we got a fish on a line here with a small circle, which is what I'm mostly looking for right now. But unfortunately, when we reel it in, it's another rud, which is another fish we've already caught before. You may have also noticed that I'm staying in Area 6 here. The reason for this is because one of the fish I'm going after can only be caught in Area 6. So by fishing in this area, I have a chance at catching one of three new fish instead of just one of two new fish if I fish in a different area. This should hopefully increase my chances of catching another new fish here. Although, throughout this Let's Play, my luck for catching new fish is, hasn't been very good as you've seen so far. It's definitely getting a lot harder to catch these last few fish than a lot of the fishes from earlier. You definitely have to become more selective and aware of what fishes are on your line and which ones you decide to reel in or let go. As we throw another lure out there, looks like we got a fish on the line that's putting up quite a bit of fight here. And after a little while, we reel it in and catch another new fish for us which is the ass, which is our second new fish of the video and also is our last fish with a purple lure that has a medium sized circle so we are down to just small circles left with the purple lures now moving back to area 6 with another purple lure out there uh, looks like we got a fish on a line here that has a small circle size and not put up too much fight in the beginning here and actually doesn't put up much fight at all as we reel it in and catch another new fish which is the bitterling so after a slow start looks like our luck has turned around here a bit as we've caught two new fish here just in the last minute alone also, with that last new fish, that brings us down to only having one fish left that we can catch with the purple lure. So hopefully if our luck here continues, we can catch this last fish and be done with the purple lures and move on to the gold lures. The last fish, which is the greater red horse, uh, has a small circle size, so I'm just trying to bounce around here and try out a couple of these areas and hopefully get a small circle. Decided to go ahead and try out area 5 over here and as we get the fish on the line here you can see we got a small circle so hopefully this is our final fish. Um, it's not putting up too much fight and of course as we almost catch it decides to start fighting and keep getting very close and barely keeps pulling away. Thought I had it there but as you can see this fish definitely likes to put up a fight came very close to getting away there but luckily we kept it on the line so trying to reel it back in and as we do finally catch it and as you can see we got our last fish with the purple lure which is the greater red horse this brings us up to four new fish for this video and as we go over and check out our scrapbook and collect the diamonds for these new fish we can really see that we are definitely very close to finishing off catching all the fish here. Almost all of the grayed out pictures that we started with are finally filled in with some nice pictures of the fish. 
as we finish collecting our diamonds and flip through all the pages of the scrapbook, we can see that there's only two fish that we haven't caught yet, with the exception of the four that were just recently added. That's going to pretty much wrap things up for this video. Be sure to keep an eye out for the next Quest for the Golden Trout Let's Play video, as we'll probably be catching the Golden Trout in that one. Other than that, thanks for watching, hope you guys all enjoyed the video, and be sure to check out my other videos.